Hello, welcome to Photoshop in 5. My name is Miracle. I'm a creative and brand identity designer. Today, I'll be teaching you how to design a three person poster, but using the same model, just like this. Let us get started. To get started, the first thing we need to have are the pictures. The first one is a picture of the background. Then we have three more pictures of the person sitting in the middle, um, the person sitting at the far right, and the next person sitting at the far left. We're going to start by importing the picture of the set. When we are done, we will import the other three pictures. All right, so let's have this guy already seated. So what we are going to do is to find a way to infuse this second person and also infuse the third person. All right, starting with the second person. What we need to do right now is to take this person out of the background. When I'm trying to crop out a picture, the, the pencil gives me a certain level of freedom. So this place is going to be sped up a bit as I'm trying to cut out this picture. Now to make this easy to blend with the other backgrounds, I'm not going to crop it all out a bit. I'm just going to do something like this around the couch and where it's sitting so that it's easy for me to blend it. Then you right click and you make selection. When all this is done, you're going to duplicate the image by holding Ctrl or Command and pressing J. Okay, so what we need to do is to find a way to blend this remaining part so that the image behind is revealed. So we can do this simply by using the mask tool. Putting the foreground color as black, we are going to use a soft brush and draw around this place to make sure the first image that's already seated on the couch is properly reviewed. So there we have it, the first image has been perfectly placed. And when we have the third picture here, we do the same thing again where we select out the picture itself. Now when cutting out this picture, the place I'm going to pay the most attention to is this area around the arm because I feel like it should be overlapping with the right leg of the first character. So we can go around this area and once we get to the hand, we can take our time. Alright, now that we have this, again, right click and make a selection. So once you add a mask, then you have something like this. Now we have our three images infused together. So we just go to the crop tool and we are going to make it a 4x5 poster. Alright, so now that we have it, what I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine all the pictures together to create one, sat, one particular image. So to do this, you're going to hold Ctrl or Command, then hold the Shift key, hold the Alternate key as well, and press A. So this combines all the pictures into one image and creates a new layer. The next thing I want to do is to take out the lines on the background. So to do that, we are going to go around the image and trace out the areas of the background that we need. We are going to use the clone stamp tool. You can get that by just pressing S on the keyboard. So hold alternate key on the area you want to copy and click to copy. Now you can go on the area you want to place it and just drag around this list. That is pretty much everything that we need to do. So the next thing now is to add a little bit of text. So you can go around and spend a little more time on your design and uh, make a few more adjustments if you want to. Maybe change the color grading if you want to. Add a little more text if you want to. And uh, any other thing that you feel like could make the design come out as well or as good as you would want it. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. This is how I duplicate a person or combine separate images to create a poster like this. And if you found this tutorial useful, then feel free to 
like share and comment and also subscribe to the photoshop page so that you can view more tutorials just like this one and till next time thank you so much